Good morning, folks. Short update here in the early hours because we're marching out the troops to battle this evening. I do hope you'll come back later tonight for a very special video. We'll talk more at the end about that, but let's get to the sun at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were calmer, going to get a couple days break from inclement space weather here. Those sunspots departing on the north are saying goodbye the only way they know how. Near M-class flare and smaller events as it heads towards the limb and then on to the far side. Eruptions no longer threaten Earth from this position. We can also see the full telemetry of the CME impact in the solar wind. Plasma speed, purple, it's the only thing that remains elevated, but it really represents a more appropriate sunspot maximum ambient speed to the stream. It's been a little low lately. Let's do some aesthetics here first in the articles. Lopsided Galaxy NGC 2276. But there's no real mystery to the bulge as NGC 2300 is just off the screen, right next to it, yanking on the shape of this one. The prettier eye candy comes when Chandra combines their X-ray view of the galactic center with what is unquestionably the most incredible radio signal image we've ever seen. They allow the composite of the two and add some labels in there to help identify certain features. From the Nova Blast to the interacting stars in the dense environment to the pulsars and other emitters like threads and clouds, it's probably one of Chandra's most eye-catching releases so far this year. Folks, we're not going to show the actual paper up here next, because as veteran observers might guess, there was no signature of dark photons at all. But this was one of the largest collaborations ever in this realm, and when something's not there, they gotta realize just adding a bunch more people to the team isn't going to help you find it. Instead, you're more likely to find something unexpected, another surprise. Filaments connecting the galaxies at levels not observed before. There are no islands in space. All is connected in the cosmos, either through those filaments or the electric pancake sheets described by Yale. Just a reminder, the Milky Way has both these small filaments and touches the local sheet. Lastly, on the article front, remember how a few degrees of warming in the ocean was supposed to kill everything? Well, we've been showing the last few years, every time they look at krill, chlorophyll, or phytoplankton, they're enjoying and thriving in the warmer waters. Apparently, more of their food around trumps a mini notch on the thermometer. And now we can look back in time and say the bigger species did all right the last time the oceans were very warm. This is also not something those climate modelers expected, and the piling on of the unexpected comes as hundreds of you got hit on social media yesterday for sharing this video of mine. They set 10 professors and national lab scientists on us, on this video, trying to debunk it and counter it. It was poor. They fell into every trap I set for them. They were not kind, and tonight, I won't be either. It's going to be brutal. I'll see you in a few hours. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.